Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special guest, my mother Connie. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so we actually on a little bit of a staycation here in Barbados and I decided that it would be a very very good time to do this video and we're going to talk about the most asked questions about our hair because as you can see my mother has very beautiful dress on, just like myself and you know funny enough even though we live in the Caribbean sometimes I don't know people seem to be infatuated or a little bit I don't know like um, they, they just you know don't really understand what's going on with our hair and they think it is uh, fad they're going through it's true yeah, I think people think it's a fad not that some people don't have to a lot because it's a fad and if it's just like yourself and you find whatever but yeah, but, but when you have when your hair is this long we think that our hair is it's not a fad because you know, your hair is long, so it probably takes probably take some time and years to get to this length. Exactly. So, um, one question. I have some stuff written here on the table, so if you see me look at any point in time, I'm looking up here. But one question that just popped into my head, I don't have here, is a lot of people ask us if we are real rasters or a salon raster. Which, a salon, salon raster would be somebody who just has it as a stud. You know, because you don't have to have your lots to be a Rastafarian, and that's a whole like religion, and it's a lot deeper than just having hair that looks like this. And typically, people who are Rastafarians, they don't have lots that are perfectly separated like ours. So it's a whole other little thing. So so many things that we would have been asked. The first thing that I get asked usually is if my hair is heavy. <laughs> and I don't know. I've been growing my hair for eight years, so. What do you think? Yeah, well, yeah. The, the first question I usually get is, um, is it real? Um, because as you can see, my my I, my hair is gray, and that is 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 real. So, tell me who who's gonna actually buy hair that is gray? Because everybody wants obviously the hair to look dark and pretty, and so you know you're not gonna buy hair that is gray. So that's the first question. The first question is usually ask if it's real. Mm -hmm. Along with if it's real, is it, how long did it take to grow? And like I just said, I was running here for eight years, so yeah. Yeah, and I, I came along just probably like a year after. Yeah, after she started it a year after. Yeah, so, so basically it's about the same length, mm -hmm. about the same length. The textures are kind of different. A little bit different. Yeah. A little different. Hers is hers is, is fine. My hair is very fine, but fine, there's but a lot of it's it. A lot of hair. If you want to stand that, that, that terminology, my hair is is um, a hair thicker, a lot, a lot coarser, coarser and, and thicker, and a lot more hair, and a lot and of hair, a lot of hair. It's true, so you know that's one thing. <laughs> next one, the next questions I would get is um, how long it takes to to wash it. Typically speaking, if I wash my hair, and I know usually my mom doesn't go to the salon, I will go to the salon every once in a while, like once every two months. She, yeah, I, I went <laughs> first like two times to actually get it started, and then that was it. Yeah, she typically yeah. does not her hair. So, for me personally, if I do my hair, I'm not usually in a rush to do my hair. If I do my hair at one point in time when I was working, it would be Sunday. So, that means that my whole Sunday would take <laughs> me washing my hair and relocking it because I'm not in a rush. I'm gonna wash my hair. I'm gonna get it usually at like eight o'clock in the morning. Anytime before between seven and eight to wash it because I typically don't use a dryer. She has a dryer since I live with my boyfriend. My mother has a dryer, and I usually just let my hair air dry, and it and it air dries pretty good because my hair is lighter and a little thinner, so it it doesn't take as long to to dry. So mine would it takes pretty much a whole day. I can finish it by about twelve. Some days I've been known to have my hair doing until about three in the afternoon. Yeah. How long your hair yeah. would take? Um, like when you do your hair? Yeah, um, basically about close to three hours because you have to relock it, wash it first, relock, 
and then dry. Uh, so it, it, it takes a it takes a long 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 time. Mm -hmm. So another one of the questions that I get too often is like, aren't you hot? Aren't you hot with you know all this here on your head? And being that we're we live in the tropics, so you know it's going to be different from when you're living in temperate temperate places. So aren't you hot? Because they have all this here on your head and it's kind of humid. So that's one of the other questions we get. Um, and the answer, answer is hot. yes. And the answer is <laughs> yes. Yes. And the answer is a bit heavy because you have a lot of hair on your head, so the answer is it's not heavy. And you know, if you don't hurt your neck, then you know, it's not heavy. And mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, you do, especially when it's wet, because when it's wet, it gets really heavy. And she oh, was, yeah. When it's wet, it gets really, really heavy. It's like twice as heavy. I've never weighed my hair, but I think I would like to know how much hair I have on my head. Because Right? And sometimes they ask how long, you know, you plan to let it go, because mm -hmm. they have some guys here. Um, there's a popular Rastafarian here called Rast Lady, and his is half his past his toes and mm -hmm. when you see when he's performing he has to hold it in his hand but I, I'm not going to go that far though. That is just too much. That's one of the questions, how long are you going to let it go? And another question too is um, you plan to cut it, mm -hmm. you know, you, you plan to cut it. So that's a couple of questions that, yeah, get, that we get. But local people here, they always ask me if I don't like to spy the top. Spy the top? Um, when you want to study your hair and sleep on it, it's quite different from when you have the hair down like this. And I like I like the natural free look of my hair down. Mm -hmm. I don't like a lot of style that because it's style it pulls the hair, it pulls the temples and I don't like that. Yeah, she doesn't like to have her hair binded. Like I typically don't like it, but just to keep my sanity, I sometimes <laughs> need to have my hair up. Like, typically if I'm a lounging around the house, it's gonna be up this <sighs> but typically like this so because of course i grew my dreads the reason why i grew my dreads which is another question why did you want dreadlocks i like long hair and my mother was the person who decided she didn't want my hair straightened none of that crap she went through all that i never as a, a little girl never had my hair straightened never had anything with cornrows or puffs or something like that so i learned to appreciate my natural hair and i wanted a way to grow my hair longer without having to wear weaves wigs braids any of that stuff if that's what you like to do that's fine but for me personally as a black woman i love my natural hair and i one of the reasons or one of the ways i could get my hair this long is to grow dreadlocks and i had to fight with <coughs> I had to I had to um, deal with people stigmatizing me because I wanted dreads because I'm automatically when you get dreads you want smoke you this you doing drugs it's like look it's just a hairstyle right? that's serious. yep I mean just yesterday we were on the beach and the guy came a lot because he wants it if you want smoke smoke yeah just because you have dreads have you seen like me for those y'all who never saw me panning it on Instagram. Yeah. I'm a big girl. I don't have small. I eat. <laughs> and yes, I do eat pork. For some of y'all people who live in Barbados or in the Caribbean, yes, I like pork. I love pork. She doesn't eat pork, but she never used to eat pork even before when she didn't have dreadlocks. So let me ask that question for a real quick. Yeah, oh, meat and that's all the stuff. Yes, I eat meat. I eat fish and chicken. All right, fish and chicken. Yeah. And another question that I get. I always come up to this non people of color as well. The white people. Anything. The white right. people. And a lot of their white. Or yeah. not white or not black. Non people not of color. Good. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And one question that really pissed me off a lot is you know, if they can touch it. Or sometimes they want to come and touch your pin here without asking a question. You and I are not friends. I don't even know you. <laughs> right? So don't come and touch my ear, you know, unless you ask a question. And that's. that's you know, can I touch it? And even before they, they come and ask you, can I touch it? You put the hand here. Your hand. Like, no. Forever? Just no. Yeah, just come and ask a question. <laughs> if I see that though they're fascinated with here, once it's not straight like theirs, it is some kind of something out the way there because it has to be straight like theirs, if not, what if it is this? So, no, just no. 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 Just no. 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 Ask first. No. no. I. I it's an invasion of personal privacy. You get what I'm saying? It's like somebody want to come and touch my boob or my underwear. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's a part of me, you know? And some people might not care, but I care. I care very much who puts their hand on my head. I didn't know part you was. 
<laughs> ain't no part you come from. I don't know you been doing. So no, no. Another question that I usually get, and I didn't know my mom has gone before, is if along with can I touch it? Is is it real? I'm like yeah, it's real here. It, you can touch it, right? Yeah. It, but yes, it's my here. All of this is my here, and I don't know. I guess that goes back to people. I'm not even not even white people are people that are not black. Even black people ask you if they've never seen it before. Um, if all this is your hair, because some women sometimes start their hair with like wool, and some yeah. women's texture, their hair looks like wool. My hair does not look like wool, so you know it's like, is your hair real? Is that all of your hair? Yeah, and it, not tell you some more. Well, I remember one lady that used to work with me at very, you know, work. Mm -hmm. She she came and said she saw your daughter and she wants to know. Where she bought her hair from? <laughs> I said, excuse you. I mean, where she bought that hair from? I said, this is her hair, and she was shocked. She was shocked, and it wasn't this length as yet. That's and she's that skin, and she said, oh, the color, and, and you know, the way how it looks. I said, oh, no, that's that's her hair. Yeah, and that's not that that skin, hair. Yeah, where where she bought it from? I said, no. So, you know, it's a lot of questions that people thought. That you know, they want to know about dreads, they have some music about dreads, because mostly the dreads that they see are probably rasters that have the bongo, the bongo, bongo and stuff they, like that. They, they mm -hmm. lots of together. So mm -hmm. those are the kind of things that they see, but when they see here like this, they want to know, like, you know, how you get your hair so clean, and how you, you know, how you get yeah, like that. Yeah, that's, that's another one. one. That's another one, if my hair is clean. Now let me, let me practice this story so I can be cussing, because up until this day, I know, but I'm gonna I think have some water this. like this. Where I, I, a place I used to work a few years ago, when I first started here with dreads, I started here with twists. So we're all sitting at this big long table in the lunchroom. And this girl, she's a white girl. I had my hair in a ponytail because at that time I was going for I think it was a few weeks into it, probably. Like, no, it was about two months into it. So it was fuzzy as hell. It, for all of y'all who started her dreads before with plain hair, you know exactly what I'm talking about. She asked me, um, so I, you know, I was just trying to figure out what's going on with your hair because, um, you know, and she it trailed off. I was like, I'm growing dreadlocks, I'm growing locks. She's like, oh, because, yeah, I, I really wanted to know what was going on. I was like, okay. And then for whatever reason, the conversation went around the table. We started talking about hair and my experience with it so far. And then she piped in from out of nowhere because I just blocked her. Cause, hey. And she was like, oh, well, I try to figure out if locks is dead here, and I. If lots is dead here, how it can be clean. You know one of situations where mm -hmm. everybody does look quiet, the whole room does look quiet, and everybody just be waiting to see if I can blow up. I had a couple of ten in my head. Because oh, legit no. speaking, I was gonna tell her what she's thinking, but no offense. I was gonna tell her what she's thinking, but you know why? Because how can you be so insensitive? And that is the kind of racism that we've got to deal with too, even when you have dreadlocks. If you're not wear your hair straight and straighten a lot of times you get a lot of i don't know people are uncomfortable with you being your ethnic self your black self this is the hair that grows out of my head in its natural state yes it's manipulated to look like a braid but it's the natural state of my hair and that's something that i i had to deal with at that point and i felt i was mad i was mad as hell because that is so insensitive to me if it's dead here how can it be clean because i wash my hair bitch what do you thought you think i didn't be doing i just roll around mother left it yeah let me let me y'all for this conversation because i can't keep going <laughs> this is not what this is about yeah moving on for y'all real ignorant some of you ignorant white people because she was white and she's still ignorant anyway, <laughs> so I remember my mother going along with this whole thing with um, non-black people asking questions about your hair. She told me, asked me, um, how do you take it off? I think someone had asked me that because I used to work at a hotel at one point in time as well. And I think I had been asked that question, how do you take it off? Um, I guess maybe they think it's braids because our hair is so uniform and it's clean and it looks like one. Yes. They figure that it's like a braid or a... I don't know what they think. Yeah, they, 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 they think a lot of different parts. Of, there was we have a we have some a couple of East Indian friends that come to Malaya, mm -hmm. and I don't know Indian people. Who, yeah, well, Indian people. Was, was East Indian, Indian, right? Indian people. So she came. Um, second time she's coming by us, and 
you know, we're talking or something. She turns to me and, and asks me if. Sorry, there's a plane. plane coming in. So okay. getting back to the question of this our friend. So the second time um, she came, we were talking and then she turned to me and asked me about me here. And she's asking me like I'm a very um, where do I um, where do I buy it from? And I'm looking at her like, what? This is the second time that you're coming at me and you're asking me about when you're asking me where I buy it from. I said, this is why here. And she was shocked. And to put the icing on the cake, like, it was much longer than hers. And like, you know, your sense of kind of envy coming out. You know, <laughs> she sense a little envy coming out. So she's asking me where I bought it from. And then she realized this is my real here. And it is, you know, much longer than hers because, you know, Indian people and people, non-people of color, got this shit in the book here and length and up and shit because they feel that black people are not supposed to have long hair unless it is bought here. Yeah? I'm buying no hair though. Sorry. So I'm not buying any freaking hair. No. It's going to get gray and I get a lot of comments and I feel good about my hair and that's what I think a lot of our black women should do. Stop with this freaking buying hair and here's your buying hair from a lot of people that don't give a shit about you. Yeah, you're buying here from the same people that don't give a shit about you. Yeah, so stop that shit. Embrace your blackness. Embrace mm -hmm. your nice ethnicity. Embrace your color. Embrace how you look. Yeah, and that means more with nice natural hair. And you get a lot of compliments for it. I do. At work, I get a lot of compliments. And even from all around. Where I go when I travel, I get a lot of compliments for my hair. And I am pretty vain, all right? I said, when they <laughs> tell me that my hair looks good, I said, I know. Damn it. So I just had to change <laughs> my yeah. battery and I think my mother got cut off mid rant but it was <laughs> so just just to say <laughs> hilarious and it was very funny. Yeah, it was <laughs> Right. Yeah, so I was saying, I was saying in case you missed that one, is that, you know, I want our black women to be proud of themselves, proud of their hair, proud of what it looks like, you know, and stop with all this goddamn buying hair from these freaking people that hear your fucking guts, all right? Excuse my language, but some, some rants may be F word. Because if you are, a, you know, a people and you cannot appreciate yourself, how do you expect other other races to do that, yeah? So stop with all this and you buy in here from people that mm -hmm. hate your gut. How are you going to support people like that? Agree. I agree. I agree. <laughs> and I, I, I feel the same way too. Rant. But at the same time, people are people that and that is your choice. If that's what you want to do, fine, no problem. But don't try to judge me on my choice because I choose to have my hair natural. Or don't try to discriminate against me and tell me that I can't get a job because I have my hair a certain way or whatever gives me. This is the way how my hair grows out of my head. I mean, the texture of it, anything, and the style that I'm doing is a style that keeps my hair neat and tight. Yeah. And watch the hairline. Watch the hairline. And yes, we have all hairlines and all those freaking people with 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 um, bought hair all the hairlines. Yeah. Don't let them see they got to put this black shit on you know what I mean? <laughs> Is it what? Shoe polish or some I shit? Don't it, know I don't know what it is. Shoe <laughs> polish or some shit because all the hairline gone because they're using all that synthetic shit. Have you, have you seen, ever seen a, a rascal woman with no hairline? I've seen a few of them and it's, no, it's beyond me because I would think that the nat more natural your hair is, sorry, something is mad. The more natural your hair is, the more your hairline would be, I don't know, um, more your hairline would be, I don't know, healthy, but I guess the two aren't mutually exclusive. Probably not, you know. Um, something else that my mom gets asked as well is if her hair is dyed, if that's her natural hair color. Because like what she was saying before earlier is um, typically people don't go for gray. I mean, it was a trend at one point in time recently, I think it was earlier this year or late last year that the girls yeah. dyeing their hair gray. But typically speaking, a lot of people don't really embrace their grids. I don't embrace my, I'm sorry. I have grids right now, so I'm telling you when I go back to Miss Exquisite Styles in St. John, Barbados, just to show out to my girl. I'm gonna leave her Instagram down below. I'm going to get some shoe polish, oh, not shoe polish, but <laughs> get some yeah. BJ number 58 okay. in these rules because I am not ready to embrace the gray. I'm not, there's nothing wrong with it. And I love my mother's hair color. There's nothing wrong with it. But for me personally, I'm not ready for the grades mm -hmm. yet. There's nothing wrong with it, but I'm not ready for it. 
but it's your choice if that's what you want to do. And at the end of the day, embrace your choice. Whatever you choose to do, make sure you own it and you love it. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking if there's anything else. But we pretty much covered everything that I had on my list. I don't really do think there's anything else. Oh, <laughs> this is a bit of a TMI, but just beyond that one. This is a question I do get, and it's usually from men. If my boyfriend pulls my hair during sex. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, I still have edges and none of my hair don't pop off. So, another question I might get if I have my hair in the ponytail like this, or up in one, or if it's styled, I ask how I get asked how long it is, and my hair is. If I can show you, my hair is so. Am I So, yeah. For those of you, and my mom, if she wishes to get up and show you, her hair is also, it's called her dress, I don't know, it's also done by her behind this is her butt right here. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was just something that I really thought would be interesting for you guys. I know there are a lot of, and especially men too, I have a lot of guys who follow my channel for hair videos and I'm very sorry that I haven't given, given the people what they wanted, but I decided I, I really need to have my mother in this video because she has a lot more insight or she has a different perspective on hair, which pretty much coincides with mine as well. Being younger, I think people are a little bit more forgiving about your hair choices. But as you get older and you make choices, people tend to want to put you in a box as to what a black woman of this age yeah. is supposed to do. Which That's I think right. is a lot of foolishness. If you want to have a mohawk and you can wear a mohawk, wear a mohawk. And if, as a black woman, you want to have your hair natural, then who the hell is anybody to tell you different? Why would you discriminate against me for my hair that naturally grows out of my head? And there's been this whole thing online, and I'm not going to really get into it, but there's been this whole thing online talking about black women not being professional because of the hair that comes out of their head and if that's the case then that is a very 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 backward mindset because i shouldn't be discriminated because of the natural hair that comes out of my head nor about the protective styles that i use to keep my hair looking neat and tidy i'm just saying that is not even cool maybe we should start discriminating against white people for the hair that grows out of their head because that stuff doesn't look right you know what I'm saying? It doesn't look like it has some light. You get what I'm saying? But I'm going to get discriminated because my hair is kinky or coily or curly or whatever it is. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my first time. First time on my videos. So I hope yeah. you guys enjoyed it. I do want to do a part two to this video. And that one is going to be more like the comments that we get about our hair. Because comments and questions are two different things. And trust me, there's so many comments that we get. So give this video a like two thumbs up if you can to let me know leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought about the video if there are any particular questions even your own experience with having dreadlocks in the caribbean and also in america because it's, it's a little different here than it would be in the states or even out in europe so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you all next time Bye.